Happy Wednesday, Northern Michigan. Time for Pet Talk with Dr. Jen Klebundy from Northwood Animal Hospital and also a cute little puppy that needs a home. She does need a home. She has a sister and two brothers, too, that need homes. They're little terrier beautiful. mixes. She's a sweetheart. How old is she? She's about eight weeks. Eight weeks old. Yeah. And already fixed. Already fixed. She's yes. ready to go. She just needs some loving yeah. uh, people who want to take care of her. She's a good, good girl. Get her. Try to get her face in for the camera. She's a little squirmy. She's a little squirmy. <laughs> <laughs> starstruck right now. Yeah. <laughs> but Dr. Colbundi, we're talking about uh, canine parvovirus, which uh, can happen to young puppies or any dog that isn't vaccinated. First yes. of all, what is this virus? The virus is a highly contagious virus that uh, is found and transmitted in the, the stool of positive animals. Okay. Only dogs get it. Cats cannot get it. We cannot get it from them. Um, but it's spread by the, the stool. So fecal oral root, we say. The stool has to come into contact with their mouths in some way, shape, or form. That doesn't mean they have to go out and eat poop. Uh, mm -hmm. It could be that they step on a, a, okay. a pile uh, and then lick their paws, or they chew grass that somebody else had defecated in. And it's very, very stable in the environment. So once it's in the environment, it stays for a long time and can infect many, many pets, especially young puppies that are not fully vaccinated yet. Okay. So it, it can affect any dog that's unvaccinated, but the most common cases are in puppies. And of course, the most fatal ones are in puppies as well. But parvo is known to be a very deadly virus. And what are some of the signs and symptoms if you think your puppy or your dog might have this? Yeah, and the first thing to do is before your pet is fully vaccinated, do not bring them around other dogs. Don't take them to places where mm -hmm. a lot of pets gather. Um, make sure that they're vaccinated. We like to get vaccines in them at 8, 12, and 16 weeks. And at that point, they'll be uh, fully protected. The signs and symptoms are pretty uh, notorious in textbooks for parvo and that includes very severe vomiting and diarrhea okay um, and the the lethargy and appetence so anorexia those are all other signs but the biggest thing if you ask anybody who's had parvo mm -hmm. it's very very severe diarrhea and vomiting how would you treat this if you're talking it, it has to be treated aggressively and if it is treated aggressively and early they have a very high survival rate but if you let it go too long then then it is highly fatal um, the way that we treat it we can't kill the virus once they have it so we have to treat the clinical signs and what kills dogs is the dehydration that they get from the vomiting and the diarrhea. So we rehydrate them very aggressively um, early on, try to support them so that their body mm -hmm. is over to, able to overcome it on their own. Okay. Yeah. And of course, this beautiful little puppy is available at Northwood Animal Hospital she, right now. She is, yes. We're watching her. She had her surgery yesterday to, to Look fix at her. her. She has one sister and two brothers, and they're all beautiful little terrier mixes. They're perfect little dogs. Oh, they are. They're so sweet. Thank you so much, Dr. Clabundi. We appreciate it. We will post all the information about this puppy that is up for adoption and also details on the parvovirus on our website, upnorthlive.com. Taking a look now at your weather forecast, we turn things over to Storm Team Meteorologist Christina Burkhart.